Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the reading settings inside your WordPress dashboard. So here we are in the main dashboard. If you hover over settings on the left hand side, and the third item down is called reading, click on that, and you'll be shown a short list of reading settings. By default, front page displays is the first option on this page, and it's pretty self-explanatory. This denotes or this determines what is displayed on the front page. By default, it's your latest posts because by default, WordPress is a blogging platform. And so bloggers always want their newest content right front and center on the front page. But you may not want that. If you have a business theme running, you're not going to want your posts showing up on your home page. You're probably going to want a static home page. So that's where this option comes in for a static page. Now when you choose a static page, or when you choose that option, you're able to choose the front page from whatever you have created. I have one called Home. And so that becomes the front page of the website. And then the posts, again, WordPress is a blogging platform, so it wants to know where the posts would go. So I don't have anything selected, but you'd probably select something called Blog on your site. You may have a, a page called Blog on your site, and then the posts will show up on that page. And again, as the, this name says, these are pages. So you'd have to create them under the pages area, pages section. If you create posts called home and a post called blog, they will not show up in these drop downs as options. So you have to create them as pages. So next, the blog page shows at most, and by default, 10 posts. So wherever your posts show up, either on the home page or on a designated blog page, this will determine how many posts show up on that page. And the syndication feed also by default shows 10 posts. The syndication feed is commonly called RSS. It's a feature that's losing traction these days with social media, but still people do use them. So it's, it's good to not shut them off completely. And 10 by default, uh, that, that's fine. Just keep it at 10, no need to really worry about that setting. And then for each article in the feed, show either the full text or the summary. And this applies to the syndication feed. So if you're on your blog page and you say, oh, I just want to see the summary, you change this option to summary, save it, nothing will actually change on your blog page. And you'll be scratching your head as to why. And the reason is these options apply only to the RSS feed. Chances are the theme that you have will allow you to determine how much content is shown on the blog page. So that'll be theme dependent, not this option dependent. And next, search engine visibility. You wanna make sure that this box is not checked if you want traffic from search engines. There are times when you do wanna check this box. For example, if this is an internal website or a employee website that you don't necessarily wanna have floating around in Google and on Yahoo, you'd want to check this box. However, it is important to know that this is not 100%. So even though you check this box, you may still show up in search engines. The only ways to make it really 100% not reachable by search engines is by having it either on your own private network or having the whole site password protected. But if you want search traffic, make sure this box is not checked. And after you've customized all the settings to the point that you're happy with it, just click on Save Changes and you're ready to rock and roll. So in this video, we went over the reading settings in WordPress and what they're used for. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe, check out our social media, and go to wplearninglab.com where we post WordPress tutorials every single day. I'll talk to you soon.